Hey everyone, welcome to the Joe LaRosa Show. I'm so excited to be able to come to you here with this new podcast. And it, listen, if, if you're if you're hearing me now in this new uh, podcast show that we're doing, you can also see me too as well. So we'll have the information in the show notes where you can actually go back and actually see the actual video content that we have that will go along with the audio. So I'm really excited to be able to be here today and, and uh, kind of now kind of launch this new uh, you know show here that we have and, and really... You know, a lot of folks that uh, I've been talking to have been asking me, like, Joe, why are you going to do this Joe LaRosa show? Why, you know, what's the whole purpose behind it? And, you know, I'll, I'll say this, you know, it, to me, I kind of feel like, you know, very much like when way back in the day when I decided to create this program called Do It Now and I actually, you know, started teaching this program within my own company at LaRosa Realty and then started actually writing a book about it is that, I want to be able to give folks like the real like like information and not just like all this fake stuff that's out there and where I see what I know back in the day agents would get all this disinformation and they would kind of make the wrong decisions and be influenced to do the wrong things and it would just like totally like annihilate their business and so that's was really one of the big driving forces for way back in the day why I was so focused on being able to deliver and create my do it now program and and kind of today is kind of the same thing in a way where you know I'm looking around and, and you know you, you see you know, whether it's on Facebook Instagram and you get all the now these so-called real estate experts and they're you know putting out you know all of their you know ideas and thoughts and opinions and I think that's important I think we have to have the opportunity to be able to allow folks to express themselves but you know it, it's let's let's get the real stuff let's let's get the real data let's ask people you know, that are actually, you know, building businesses now in this market that are actually having success, right? If you want to learn from somebody, if you want to be able to to actually grow your business and you want to be able to, you know, obtain success now in 2023, let's have the opportunity to learn from folks that have actually been able to do that in the past. And, you know, so on this show, one of my main focuses is going to be is to be able to bring on folks that uh, we can ask, you know, right to the point, you know, direct questions about how they're able to, you know, continue to move forward and, and what they're doing. And, and, you know, the old saying, why, why would you reinvent the wheel? So listen, on this show, uh, what you see is what you get. Um, you know, one of the things that I will tell you, a lot of folks have this misconception of who Joe LaRosa is. And they think that I'm this, you know, kind of like this tough guy. And uh, he's very hard to like, you know, you know, approach. And he's, you know, very serious. And that's actually like, the total opposite, right? Once you get to know me and you kind of get the opportunity to kind of see who I am, you know, you're going to see, listen, I'm a real human being. And uh, one of the things that I take the most pride in is that, listen, I try to be genuine. I try to be like, like open book. And maybe if you see me, whether it's on some of those uh, shows that I've done with my wife called Wind Down Wednesday or, or other podcasts that I've done like in the past, I want to be real. I want to be like a human being here with you, let you know that I have ups and downs. You know, I have good days. I have bad days. These are what my thoughts are uh, and so on. So uh, that's really what you're going to get here on the Joe LaRosa show. So uh, before we kind of start bringing on some guests in our future episodes, let me take advantage of this opportunity that we have here and, and let you know, right, if you don't know me, like, who am I? Like, who is Joe? And look, I'll tell you this. I, I've had the opportunity of uh, being raised by some amazing parents, uh, both my mom and dad, you know, down in South Florida, uh, brought my brother and I up and, and gave us an unbelievable foundation. And, uh, you know, over the years, you know, later on, you know, as I got into um, my college years and so on, and I had this vision of, you know, I saw this show back in the 80s. I'm kind of dating myself here, but you all remember the show Miami Vice, right? Don Johnson driving his little Ferrari, Lamborghini, whatever it was. So I had this idea that I was going to become this police officer and I was going to be the next, you know, uh, what was his name on the show? Sonny something, right? And I was going to be the next Don Johnson. And uh, so I became a police officer. I actually went into law enforcement right out of college and uh, did that for just a couple of years and realized, you know what? It's not like what I saw back on, on Miami Vice. And so, you know, my father was always uh, a very great supportive, you know, uh, individual and said, look, go do your thing. Go go get it out of your system. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to tell you you got to go do this and so on. Go do your thing. I think you're crazy, but I love you. I'm going to support you. But if you ever decide that, you know what, you want to kind of maybe get out of it or do something different, then you come talk to me. And so uh, one night I woke him up at like three in the morning. 
And uh, I ended up, uh, I had the keys to his house, went to his bedroom, and basically was standing over him. And he was like, what the heck? What are you doing? I'm like, I remember like, like it was yesterday. And uh, that night, I had gotten into some crazy chase, and I ended up uh, uh, breaking my, my wrist and my hand in the process. Everything worked out. I got the guy, and everything was, was, was good on that end. But it was a little bit of a scare for me. And uh, I remember uh, driving home that night saying, you know what? I think I'm going to call my dad or I think I want to go talk to my dad and say, you know what? I think I may take you up on an offer. And uh, my dad is as supportive as he was. You know, he said, listen, all right, all right, all right. Go home and, 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 and tomorrow morning, come over. We'll have breakfast. We're going to talk about it and so on. So we did. And we talked about how I wanted to get into real estate and I want to kind of follow his footsteps and really have the opportunity to, to allow him to be a mentor for me. And, uh, and he was. And so, you know, I ended up uh, getting to real estate development first and um, then eventually brought my brother into the business too as well. And and he was still in college when he actually got active with us. But we were developing everything from single family homes to retail centers to office buildings, uh, a resort community outside of Walt Disney World. And we were just on top of the world. I remember there was a time where, you know, I was sitting in uh, in, in in my home in this kitchen that I kind of like, actually, I took my house. It was a three bedroom, two bath. I did the ultimate mistake in real estate, right? I over improved. And I had a three-bedroom, two-bath house, just my daughter and I. And I turned it into a six-bedroom house with a gym, a movie theater. I had this badass kitchen with this fancy like hood and stove and all this stuff. And I had no idea how to cook, right? I was like microwave kind of guy. And uh, I remember, like it was yesterday, I was sitting there with a, you know, having a Heineken. And uh, I was by myself that day. My daughter was with her mom. And, and I remember sitting there saying, man, like I made it. Like I made it. Like I made this, you know, this crazy jump from law enforcement into real estate development and here I am, and I was this developer, and I'm on top of the world, and and uh, that was in 2000, I want to say, like, five or six, right? And uh, shortly after that, obviously, everything started to change. And so, you know, I ended up meeting my uh, my wife. We uh, we get together. We get married. And uh, 2008, we, uh, we get married, and uh, now kind of bringing together a blended family. We went from having this blended family uh, you know, dealing with a little bit of, of, of that frustration or I would say some of that stress that can be kind of that comes along with it. You know, I um, I realized uh, that something was happening within the market and that we could see a little bit of some changes happening and uh, no one could really kind of look into a crystal ball and really can kind of forecast. And I wish I, I would have had the ability to do so because shortly after our, uh, our wedding day, uh, literally everything basically kind of like went to shit and uh, the whole entire market crashed. Uh, literally, I remember it was Obama and McCain uh, going at it with each other, uh, you know, trying to become the next president. And they literally stopped their campaign. They went to Washington. Uh, they're trying to save the economy, right? And the real estate industry has basically was like shutting down. Like banks stopped lending out money. Realtors were like, you know, losing their shirts. You know, developers were basically going out of business. They're going bankrupt. They're getting sued. And here I am, this real estate developer now bringing in a blended family, having that, you know, kind of that stress and taking on more responsibilities to now all of a sudden losing everything. I lost my cars. I lost my house, my, my, my fancy kitchen, my gym, my movie theater, gone, right? You know, I remember waking up one morning and walking out my door. I had this Shelby GT500, this beautiful car. And it was like amazing. I remember walking out there saying, gosh, where did I park my car? I thought I was right there yesterday. Well, I got repoed. And so, you know, listen, I'm open and honest about it. My wife always kind of cringes when I tell the story, but we lost everything. I didn't have a bucket to, you know, what in. And so, you know, that was probably one of the most important times in my life. And people say, what? How, how can that, that moment of absolute like stress and pain and, and uncertainty be one of your greatest moments? Because you know what? I was blessed, right? I had, like I said, I had amazing parents, you know, that, that raised me. My father was an amazing mentor for me. And, but kind of like things were every, always going to go in my way. And I needed to experience a little bit of pain and a little bit of uncertainty to force myself to really, you know, push myself to get to that next level. And so, you know, I went through definitely some ups and downs. You know, my wife and I, we struggled probably within the first couple of years of our marriage, you know, financially, especially, but even, you know, with our marriage itself, because obviously, you know, finances can cause a lot of stress within the household. And so we, we went through some stuff and, you know, I was able to finally kind of get to a point where I can kind of see the light. 
And, you know, I'm going to get through, I'm going to get to that in a lot of our future episodes and in a lot of the guests that I'm going to bring on, I'm going to have the opportunity to kind of ask them questions about kind of what has allowed them to kind of get through some of their challenging times. And, 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 you know, I, I was blessed to be able to uh, have an amazing wife and, you know, my parents were still there supporting us, you know, uh, not financially, but they were supporting us, obviously, you know, as parents do. And, uh, you know, I was able to, to understand that, you know, what it's all, it's all up here right? It's all up within my own mindset. I'm creating this own reality and I have to kind of just change my, you know, my views and, and the stories that I'm telling myself. And if I can do that, you know, I'm going to be able to really understand how, you know, no one else is in control, but me. And so, you know, uh, you know, fast forward a few years later, I was able to, you know, launch La Rosa Realty and be able to kind of grow, you know, this real estate company. And I've been able to really align myself with some amazing leaders, that, you know, uh, have allowed us to take this brand, you know, where it is today. You know, I will be the first one to say, uh, it's not about me. It, it's not about Joe LaRosa. Uh, yeah, the company's called LaRosa Realty, but, you know, it's about the leaders that I have around me and an amazing family that uh, has really been able to kind of come together. And listen, throughout the years, we still have ups and downs, right? I mean, listen, when COVID hit, we all freaked out. I did. I, you know, here I am, this guy, you know, talking about, you know, doing my do it now programs and, and, and telling folks mindset, mindset, mindset. And COVID hits and I'm like, Oh shit. Like what the hell is going to happen? Why is this happening? I was like playing like victim. Like, Oh, I can't believe this. You know, we're finally, you know, we just finally franchised. We finally did all this stuff. And now everything is just going to shit. Like this is not fair. Right. And so, you know, my wife was there. She smacked me a couple of times. I smacked myself. And, uh, you know, probably within about only lasted like 48 hours. And then I kind of snapped out of it. And, you know, I said, you know what, I have to step up to the plate and be a leader now. And I have to, you know, realize that just because, you know, I'm I'm feeling this, that that doesn't mean I'm the only one. There's probably others that are feeling the exact same thing. I got to go out there and say, listen, it's going to be okay. Right. Don't listen to that crap that you're hearing over there. Don't listen to people that are trying to take advantage of fear based marketing. That's all BS. Right. Let's find the truth. Let's look at the real facts and let's kind of put together this plan now so that we can kind of get through, you know, these next, you know, few weeks, few months and so on. So my wife and I created a program called Plan Over Panic, right? So don't panic, but let's plan. Let's kind of move through. And, you know, we created a little bit of a following with our, you know, Thrive Society and we did, you know, weekly programs. We had some fun with it too as well. We did Wind Down Wednesdays, uh, Business Over Breakfast uh, every Friday uh, and so on. And, and so, you know, going back to the reason that I wanted to do this show, the Joe LaRosa show, and and, uh, and really, you know, be able to kind of now take it to the next level is is that, you know, going back to my very beginning, why I kind of told you my story is that I went through some uncertain times for sure. You know, the pandemic, we all went through some uncertain times. Last year, you know, the last six months of 2022, I'm sure a lot of us kind of went through some uncertain times. And and if you're saying you didn't, you're full of it, right? Because I don't care. You know, you see all these people on social media that put on a fake smile and they pose and they didn't and that, whatever, and they have a quote that goes with their, you know, image. That's all cool stuff and everything else. But they're human beings too, and they're feeling the pressure, right? They're feeling like the uncertainty, and they don't know what to do next. And so, you know, we went through it. I went through it personally. Here I am trying to go public Take a company public in in in, in a recession in, in in a time where the market is now you know going down not only in the real estate market but in in the stock market too as well and here I am trying to go public and yeah I am because I'm going to shock the world right I'm going to show people that you know what if you believe in yourself right if you truly have a real purpose and there's a real reason why you're trying to achieve something you can achieve it right? Just stay focused, right? Go after it. Don't go after low-hanging fruit, man. Climb to the top of that tree and just make it happen. And I can tell you what, that's one of the things that we have been able to do throughout 2022 and now here in 2023. And and listen, you know, we wanted to do this show to be able to just be real, let you get the opportunity to continue to get to know us, get to know me, have opportunity to bring on guests and just like ask them like real questions not fake superficial questions that people want to that they think that people want to hear no hey look i'm gonna put some people on the spot i promise you that i won't hold back so uh we look forward to uh continuing on here uh with this new show and uh you know i look forward to being able to create as many connections uh as we can here and uh, i feel like this is my calling this is my opportunity to be able to you know i'm a big believer in what tony robbins always says right the secret of living is giving and one of the ways that that i can give not only giving financially to be able to give back in this way, right? To be able to give back information, 
excitement, if I can inspire you, um, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be able to have that opportunity to do that. So I'm looking forward uh, to a successful show here, and uh, I hope that you continue to follow us here at The Joe LaRosa Show. So stay tuned.